this is the prototype for the hybrid solar grill generator and uh, as you can clearly see I've got uh, one element on right now right here and that would be this lid which is uh, at around 180 degrees and this one's sitting at about 50 Alright, if you look inside, you can see the element is on, on this unit. Alright. And uh, I can put my hand on the top of it. It's not hot at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, the inside's probably a little over 200 degrees. I'm going to set the camera down and let you see. It's 204 right now. Top. It is 100. So it's not hot at all. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see, it's, it's heating up quickly. Uh, this unit can take the solar concentrated energy and project it onto the cooking tray which is somewhat consistent with what you'd expect to look of a grill. Uh, the back of it is covered in photovoltaic panels. So when it's sitting there in a resting position, it protects the uh, box and the cooking unit from the elements. You see the solar powered light right here. Uh, Energy is already stored in the battery bank from the photovoltaic cells. And then that comes around and plugs into the front of the control box and you've got a uh, USB cigarette style plug-in 3 volt 5 volt uh, 6 volt and two 12 volt plug-ins then you have your uh, uh, wall socket style outlets right here uh, two 1500 watt outlets and then you've got your uh, inverter on off switch right here and then you have your uh, two router speed controls that I used for the variable temperature control. Uh, you can see element on the left is the one on right now. But uh, we'll do another temperature check right now. But this unit is uh, pretty handy. Uh, the cooking tray balance is always in an upright position. I mean, this thing is uh, not only a, a hybrid solar cooker, but also a, a power supply, a generator. So you have power when it's needed. Uh, we are around 220 now over here. Over here, we're still floating at about 50 degrees. I'm going to set the camera down again and do another check. I can still put my hand on top still comfortable and inside two hundred and eighty six degrees. I hope you saw that. Two hundred and eighty seven. All right, so there it is. Uh, this is the style of uh, parabolic trough that I prefer. Here is my homemade jig. As you can see, I slide the aluminum alloy stick right here and roll it over the steel band. And as you can see, it has shoulders that guide it through it. And that's how I built... Uh, the first jig and it works it works real good uh, they're all consistent if you see the parabola you can see all of them they're all very consistent this is a water heater distiller system uh, I made the evacuation tubes insulated the hose I had a couple stray beams uh, as it was tracking that allowed it to 
try to burn a hole and This is how you uh, put the vacuum on it. Right here, you can turn it on and off. So you pull that vacuum and you shut it off right here. It works good. This gives you a good image of the reflectiveness of the uh, Mylar. It's very reflective. That's actually my hand in the reflection. And there's my actual hand. Pretty good. And now you can see the temperature is uh, wrapping back around from where it was. You see my hand on top. And I'll set this back down and give you another temperature readout. I'm so anal about that camera being in the right position. see that or not 319 degrees inside so pretty cool uh, system works awesome boil bake distill uh, fry dehydrate I mean it should be able to do everything as well as the lids come off and have extension cables so they could be taken inside as a 1200 watt heater emergency heater system you've also got the two 1500 watt power outlets uh, and the 3 volt 5 volt 6 volt 212 volt USB iPod and cigarette style lighter plug-in and uh, these are the heat sinks that are made for the solar geothermal electric device so I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Uh, this is a picture of my shop. It's not the Ritz, but it gets the job done. There's a little private research room I have hidden behind that wall. And, uh, Keep this little light on for better efficiency but here's my little lab where I do most of my little electronic prototypes and stuff like that I've acquired a lot of stuff over the over the years so you get an idea of who I am and what I do stuff hidden up there too and this is me I'm Brian nice to meet you and this is my property in my home out in the middle of nowhere there's my barn that's where I work tinkering with something no neighbors all right it was uh, wonderful making this little video and I look forward uh, 
to you giving me the opportunity to bring the uh, solar geothermal electric generator to fruition. Bunch of other parts and materials and yeah, I know I've only got a couple seconds or YouTube won't take the video, but the back of these panels are frosted and the front of them is really high glossed. So you get that frosted and you get that glossy, real glossy. And the back is frosted. All right, but uh, it works real well. Y'all have a blessed day.